Jasmine, thank you. Speaking with IT Mate now, our team has obtained video of that second Indiana police stop of the man accused of the Idaho student murders. This stop happened just minutes before he was pulled over by an Indiana State Trooper. IT Mate's Cody Fisher breaking down the new video. The video of the first time Koberger got pulled over is giving us a more specific timeline for his interactions with law enforcement here in Indiana. At 10.42 in the morning, a Hancock County deputy had Brian Koberger pulled over. You were right up on the back end of that van, pulled you over for tailgating. During the interaction with the deputy, Koberger and a man believed to be his father talked to the deputy about a shooting at Washington State University, where Koberger was in a doctoral program for criminal justice. Okay. The Hancock County deputy releases the pair with a verbal warning. Well, do me a favor and don't follow too close, okay? The deputy walks away from their car seconds before 10.45 a.m. Almost exactly five minutes later, Koberger was pulled over for the exact same reason. You see him sitting in the driver's seat. Oh, no, I stopped you, man. When you are driving by me there, you were a little too close to back at semi. Again, they spend a few minutes talking with law enforcement before being let go with a verbal warning. I'm not going to give you guys another ticket or warning if you just got stopped. Fifteen days later, Koberger was arrested at his family home in Pennsylvania. He's charged with murder, accused of stabbing Kaylee Gonclaves, Madison Mogan, Zaina Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin on November 13th in Idaho. At the time he was pulled over in Indiana, there was no information about a suspect for those killings, which is why Koberger was not arrested. He waived extradition and is on his way back to Idaho. His attorney in Pennsylvania says Koberger is eager to be exonerated in court. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, ITMA.